Right, sorry for the delay. Okay, I see that Amaryllis has taken Stretch's first stock in this winner's semis best of five. Uh, game one. Uh, saw in the last time we saw... Yeah. Yeah, in the last time we saw Amaryllis, uh, they were a real force to be reckoned with. Uh, both last tournament uh, they attended and just the uh, last match versus Jay Grunt. Uh, Stretch is definitely a different caliber of player. Plus, Lucina can be... Uh, very strong, but that's not really going to stop Amaryllis having a very similar situation to the last time they were on stream with like these full stock leads. Uh, you know, part of it, I could see the Bayonetta just, you know, being a not very well known character in this game, but also the fact that just such a deep understanding of Bayonetta uh, from Amaryllis and just, you know, really knowing the limits on, on what to push uh, and where not to, and uh, really. Really excellent patience, just hanging back and just really frustrating their opponent by just staying out of range and stuff. And especially with just like the mobility that Bayonetta is capable of. She's not super fast per se, but it's just like the way she moves can make her very hard to catch. Uh, she has very big buttons. Her movement options have very big boxes on it, so it can be sometimes very difficult to stuff. Um, and it's hard to read with just like how many uh, options she has. All right, uh, Stretch is definitely struggling to try and catch up and try and bring this to even an even situation. Already on his last stock with 122%. Uh, this 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 match might be over, uh, but you know it's really going to come on down to uh, what sort of adaptation we can see from Stretch. That Nair is going to put him close to the blast zone, but not going to take uh, not take him out. Amaryllis uh, in the driver's seat pretty much every time we see them play. Uh, even even now, it's like, oh, last stock, but you're at 150. Dummy, run into this forward smash. Amaryllis going to take it with the JV2. Miss me, baby. Over stretch on PS2. You know, so let's, let's see these again. Let's see what, uh, what happened. It's like, boom. Yeah, you, it can be sometimes a scary situation. Uh, when you're in those like dash dancing, especially you kind of let them uh, run that your back was against the edge of the stage. So like your options were to like to jump or just like run right in. And honestly, that forward smash doesn't do the worst job of covering both of those things. Like if you did like a short hop, you'd still get caught. So, you know, really good just stage positioning uh, from Amaryllis and just like keeping that pressure on. Uh, you know, coming down with that invincibility uh, from the respawn plat, you, you can exert some some pretty good pressure. Uh, so I'm assuming game two, we're going to be going to something of the ring of Smashville. Let's see if that is the reality. Oh, we're going to Kalos. Interesting. Um, I'm not so sure uh, what Lucina necessarily gets from this. Uh, you know, she. I think she'll still have pretty strong like ledge pressure, even if that platform is there, because uh, the way she'll shark with her fair. Uh, but I actually think this might be pretty good for uh, 
for Bayo as well, large blast zones she's, uh, and just like a lot of space to, to do things. Plus those side platforms letting her get higher up if she needs to. And you know, right now I'm alert with a strong percent lead, but uh, you know, in an off stage situation, but is able to turn it around. Okay. Back in the neutral, nice. Uh, baiting the 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 counter. See how this edge guard goes. Nice. Get running for the grab. Tried to do the reverse scoop with the up B. Okay. Boom. All right, well, Amaril is going to be taking the first up with a nice dash attack, punishing, uh, with punishing, I think, the shield break. Not something that's very easy to do. I don't think that was on reaction. That was possibly on read. Uh, so really good stuff by Amarillo. Now let's see what they can do to hang on and just, like, build this lead here. They've been doing a really good job uh, of showing, showing that pretty much nonstop. Uh, it is, it is not rare to see a full stock lead from Amaryllis. And, you know, even though Stretch almost was able to take that stock, that's as far as it's going to do it. Almost. Uh, Amaryllis in a pretty good situation of just trying to keep it safe. These wide blast zones. I think Kallus has wide blast zones. Battlefield has one. I think Battlefield has one. I think it might be normal. I'm not sure. Either way, not enough. <laughs> Still not enough. Living up to 170. Oh. But uh, didn't jump off the ledge quick enough and was able to get trumped in back, uh, into back air. Uh, and even up to stock 80 damage is still going to be a very solid lead, very healthy for MRS. Bud Stretch not going out without a fight. Uh, attacking on a quick 25, but Amarillo is kind of able to return in kind pretty quickly as well. Ooh, nice punish on the landing, uh, catching it with a dash attack. Ooh, ooh, okay. I really love the passive play on the ledge, but then like, and just uh, just really knowing like where your opponent's gonna swing and able to get which time into up smash to seal out that stock. <gasps> Is That's not gonna be enough though. Good Lord, what a read. My man's had to make something happen. He was like, please run into this and uh, Amaryllis agreed. So, uh, evening it out to the last stocks here, super low percent. Uh, see who can build this read right. Uh, this lead right now. Stretch kind of keeping all the pressure and the stage control. Up, oh, might have relinquished it, but did not. Up, oh, but didn't get caught by the tail end of the ABK. <gasps> all right, but now into an offstage situation. Does he have his jump? It doesn't matter. Going to be able to dolphin slash up to the ledge. All right. These percents are neck and neck. Ooh, <gasps> very nice with the edge guard, uh, the jab lock, and then catching and just being like, yeah, I think you're gonna roll him to catch his up smash. And Stretch, again, just kind of stuffing her out and another kill with the up smash. Very nice. Really tricky play. Like, look at this setup here. Like, that was really just in, in their head. I want to see that one more time from the start. I want to see how far did they catch one. Yeah, there it is. That's such a good mix-up. That's like a like a fake Blue Man Trap, sort of. I love it when uh, players, like, really take advantage of putting their opponent on the ground and taking advantage of, like, the roll read. Not, it's not just Snake who has those setups. All right, I think they're really uh, trying to figure out where they're trying to go. They haven't left the arena, so I'm inclined to think that we might go run it back to Kalos. Nope. Okay, I think we're seeing a stage pick for sure.
All right, let's see where we're going. All right, now this is game three, but this is a best of five set as we are in top three, six winner semis. Two. All right, so running it back to PS2, uh, honestly, I, I respect it. You know, uh, Amaryllis just probably just wants to have as much space as they can uh, get a hold of. PS2 being the largest stage uh, in, of all the legal stages. And, you know, with the keep away that they have to do and just, uh, what is it? Uh, just like all those, all that like spacing to, you know, just like walk a little bit out of there. Anyway, Amaryllis is starting off with a very strong lead and it's going to kill, oh my, keeping super strong juggles. And then, uh, you know, honestly, it's a really good read. When you're able to apply that much pressure and get such a strong lead so early on uh, in percent, your opponent is more likely to try and take a, a more aggressive approach. So going for the counter in that situation can be really, uh, can pay dividends. It's such a strong thing. Uh, just to attempt, like what? Do you, what? What's the what's the risk there? You're gonna take a few hits. You're at low percent, so go for it. And now this puts Amaryllis in an extremely strong lead. Is what I would say, but we're gonna stand right on top instead of just jumping out of shield. Uh, we're just gonna do spot dodge for some reason. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's gonna put Stretch right back on the map. Uh, gonna put it back into a two stock situation here. Uh, damn, all of that. All of that uh, progress just sent right down the drain. But, you know, it's a second lease on life first stretch, so I'm sure he doesn't mind at all. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen here. Not, no, not, not even close to death. No worries there. All right. Try to, I think he may have read that he was going to wait on the, on the ground, so went for a dash back. Stretch is doing, is just getting so much out of like these charge smash attacks. We already saw the charge up smash on the platform, and then this charge down smash. I, like I think it's just like it just throws Amaryllis off of their rhythm, and they don't know what to do. Uh, definitely see that Stretch is kind of in sync on something, and is finding you know a uh, a break in the rhythm for Amaryllis. But again, uh, but still, n not no strong leads have been able to amount from any of these like these really ridiculous kills as they're both on their last stocks here at uh, low percent. See like a very slight lead from Emerlus and slightly turning into more solid strong. Okay. Ooh, Thor they're gonna stuff the slide kick. Ooh, wow. I honestly, I really like the uh, the damage control that Amaryllis was trying to do to get around the Delph. Oh my god. Great spacing by Stretch. You see, he went a little bit further, and uh, I guess the downer hitbox really doesn't hit that much uh, behind it. So Stretch going to be uh, taking a lead in this set 2-1. This now does give him counter pick advantage in the event that we go to game five. My God. Let's see that one more time. It was so close uh, to not working. Really just threading the needle there. And here we could have seen uh, what could have been a very, very strong lead by Amaryllis. Unfortunately uh, for them, Stretch was able to bring it back fairly quickly. I forget how this went. It was like a down smash, right? Oh, it was this up smash read. God, just didn't know what to do. That was uh, such a panic. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but like, you know, great. <laughs> Great pressure by Stretch, putting him in that awkward situation. There, as we saw, they took the lead with the charge down smash. These charge smash attacks have just like all is what led Stretch to victory on all three stocks. And yeah, with that, we're gonna be running it back to uh, PS2. Uh, let's see what. Oh, is that? No, it's not gonna be enough. If he was able to try and stuff him out, uh, maybe. 
They had already they had exhausted an air dodge, which put them very low. They would have exhausted their jump and stuff. Regardless, almost uh, again the spike attempt there with the down smash. that one, Bayo. Bingo, Bayo. Yo, these charges! Amaryllis does not know how to handle this. It's just too scary, too spooky. Uh, you know, I, I really like this, you know, the this option that uh, Stretch is going for. That's such a neat tool to, like, have in your arsenal. Being like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna charge this a bit. It's definitely not something you see too often. He's really just taking advantage of just like, it just puts a pause on the movement. And it's just like, but like you have just like this mental lock on your opponent because it's just like, you're supposed to swing now. And he's like, I am, but do you know when? No, you don't. I've committed it. It's gonna happen. I really just want to see Amaryllis just kind of get out of, get out of the way. You have nothing to gain. Don't challenge it. Just get out of there. Just jump, please. Roll away something. All right, is this going to even it up? Yes, it is. We hadn't seen Witch Time for a very long time, so it was very fresh. And, uh, yeah. And this time it got triggered by a, a not a multi-hit. Single hit. So nothing to be worried about there. Just like that, Amaryllis is... <gasps> Even you have to percent to maybe taking the whole stock. Yeah, no jump uh, to help stretch recover. And now, really, like mid percent uh, stock lead. Very, very good position to be in. All right. I like the attempt, but versus Bayo, like. When they're recovering, they're kind of recovering. It's really hard to trap Bayonetta. Her her buttons are so her movement options are her big buttons. So it's just kind of a recipe for safety in terms of, of recovering. All right, almost got that grab. Nice. Yep. Remember that if the slide kick does hit your block, they cannot do the second kick, meaning they're just kind of sitting there waiting to get punished. Honestly. I don't want to. Probably should have seen a forward smash there, but it doesn't matter. The stock was taken none, uh, either way. Not forward smash, drop smash. I mean, you know, I, I, well, that's a drop block, seven frames more. Anyway, Wu trying to uh, end it right then and there. Nice attempt on the the counter for the ABK read, but again, you know, just, she just has so many options for movement when, uh, in recovering. It, it's just like a stab in the dark. All right. Punishing the landing with a forward smash, not gonna be enough to take it, but it was across the stage. If we see something in, yeah, perfect. Uh, Able to catch with a Nair, and more than close I enough won. to the ledge. Stretch going to be taken at 3-1, advancing to winner's finals. Let's see this again. He's just, ah, all right, so he punished the, uh, the counter read. All right, so next up we're gonna see Mouse Rat versus Vivi. Oh. Uh, actually, yeah. Welcome back, Munoz. Oh, yeah, we just uh, we just saw a three-one 
uh, Stretch versus Amarellis. Stretch Amarellis. Over Amarellis. Over, yeah. nice. uh, so Stretch is going to be moving on to winner's finals. And the next match we're going to be seeing nice. is Vivi versus Mouserat. Let's take a peep at the bracket 